let's basically look at execution. And I think one thing is super important to understand in the context of corporate venturing, ex one element of execution is probably the most important one. That's the internal communication, the internal PR almost. So that it's very, very clear to all your business units, what is this corporate venture capital thing doing? What is this team doing? When should I go to them? Is there something where they can actually help me as the leader of a business unit to execute on my KPI? In which case you obviously, if you can argue that and explain that you will have incoming requests, but also there has to be a relationship building mode inside the CVC, almost maybe a, a P, an internal PR head that uh, basically goes around and says, you know, this is what we're seeing. Is this interesting for you? Or ideally someone that knows exactly when he or she comes back from, from a conference, from a conversation with a startup potentially to say, I know exactly who I need to talk to inside, inside the organization. So I think the connectivity internally will over the mid to long run make or break a corporate venture capital um, uh, effort. Now, let me ask, just, just in, to put it into context, um, and one of my colleagues has done research on that. Um, looking back in 2015, the failure rate of corporate venture capital investors was tremendous. So, uh, I mean, she showed that 80% of corporate venture capital vehicles or efforts closed down within less than five years. And I always get asked about why is that? And my answer is, and there would be a study to be done around that, is that it has to do with the, um, with the tenure of CEOs. New CEO comes in, new sheriff in town, new di different vision on execution and so on. And since the CVC is usually considered non-core, it's an easy one to kind of open and close very quickly. But I think at that point, and as the leadership change happens, it's super important to have shown that you have your kind of tentacles inside the organization as well. You have your connectivity. You need your kind of fan base internally that will come back and say, no, 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 we need those guys, right? We, they're really useful. You know, they, they may be useful only once or twice a year to us, but when they're useful, they're really useful. This is good information for us to have. I think you have given a few golden nuggets, as I call them. But I really like the concept of internal peer. And it's interesting because in the last two days, I probably talked to more than 50 CVCs in different groups. And the many that, that are challenged inside the mothership, in the, inside their corporation, is really because they have not yet articulated wide enough. And I like the concept of fan base. They haven't articulated wide enough what they are learning and sharing back to the organization. And some of them do really well to share the information, but they only share it to the C-suite, which means that the people in the middle management who are actually in charge of the PNL challenge why there is a CVC. And so I think the internal peer concept is extremely important. And I think what you're saying, and I'm going to add some granularity, and then we will double click on it. There is one part of the internal peer, which is about sharing what you learn. So you show the value of the corporate VC from a strategic value point of view. And then there is the other one, which I think is what you implied by tentacles, which is all this connecting tissue between you and the organization and the portfolio companies, and maybe even startups you don't invest in, but you engage with. So with that granularity in mind, how much of the internal peer should be about the strategic value you bring and all the... Uh, connecting tissue with startups that you bring. And you could argue mm -hmm. both are strategic value, but, but they have very different angles in a way. Yeah, absolutely. So on the internal part, I think you really need to balance it. I mean, if you, it, it's always easy to test this, right? I mean, if you say, okay, this is a spectrum and where should the lever sit, right? So um, internal kind of communication versus connecting with the outside. I don't think you can move the lever to only one side or the other. 
right? If yep. you're only engaging yep. with yep. startups, then clearly you're not going to get to your next fund or you're not going to make it even to year four. So um, on the other hand, if you're purely inward focused, that's not your role. So and then you're not bringing that knowledge, your intelligence gathering, your funnel will run dry very, very quickly. So I would argue the um, the engagement has to be balanced. And maybe at the beginning, when you're kicking off, let's say you're a startup CVC, you clearly need to ensure that the message goes out to the broader ecosystem. We are here, we're new, please engage with us. I mean, as we know, disregarding CVC, just on the VC side, what separates the wheat from the chaff, the good from the, from the not so good VCs, it's deal flow. So ultimately, especially if you're playing on the really early stage, there's no way to kind of really find those startups. I mean, you don't know which garage to look at uh, around the globe where the new in where the innovation is happening. So you need to create a certain visibility to the outside. So if I am a um, if I'm a consumer startup, I know exactly which consumer parent companies have a CVC that I should be talking to. So that has to go out and that's potentially a starting point. But on the other hand, it's also it's crucial because that generates the funnel for you then to filter the knowledge and then distribute it internally as well. So you also have a certain filtering mechanism, but it does require your right. It requires a certain balancing act.